Hey guys, Jules here. I got another video for you. Um, it's about the new church, the, the church rising. And I, I think it's kind of looking beyond the judgment of how things are going to develop. But Lord, thank you, Father, for all visions, all dreams, all words of knowledge. Thank you, Father God, for leading us, for guiding us, for informing us. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Father. You're our mighty God. Holy Spirit, come be with me as I deliver this, this information to the, to the body of Christ, the church. I just thank you, Lord. Amen. So this is a dream 334 for me uh, of 2021, and today is the 22nd of December. Um, I had this dream on the 20th of December. And this is this this dream first starts out talking about talking to me, telling me a little bit about my destiny, and um, and I also put in there my wife's destiny too. And so here it goes. Um, and 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 this is I believe this is this is looking beyond the judgment. And how the remnant is rising up, and this, this is what you know. I've been talking about this, and a lot of people got a little confused. This is the new church. You know, this is what the Lord has been speaking to me about since probably May or June, that there's going to be a new church. And I really didn't understand it at first, but now I see it's the remnant rising, and it's the church in unity. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. So I'm excited about that. So listen to this. It says, he, ta he tells me a little bit. It says, Jules, you're going to be partnership with Christ and his church. And he says, Jules, this, the church will be your finished work. And, and, then he, and then the Lord, the Holy Spirit tells me, the church, history is one of being religious with a religious heart. And the church history is one of creating a religious word of God. Also, it creates hospitality of families, friendships, diplomacy, and open-handedness. <laughs> so this threw me off a little bit, right? But God is full of surprises, okay? So he says, Jules, the best the world has to offer without God is hospitality of families, friendships, diplomacy, and open-handedness. Now, I know there's a lot of people in church that look at hospitality as a ministry. So, I'm just a messenger, okay? Take it to the Holy Spirit. Take it to the Holy Spirit, because here it comes. You ready? It says, Jules, the church and hospitality of families, friendships, diplomacy, and open-handedness need spiritual cleansing and detoxing. I'm going to say that again. Jules, the church and hospitality of families, friendships, diplomacy, and open-handedness need spiritual cleansing and detoxing. And I'm like, Lord, well, you know, shouldn't we kind of offer these to newcomers and things like that? Um, so I asked that question, and here's kind of what I got. He's saying that the church will communicate the accurate word of God and spread the gospel without a religious spirit. The church will feed and clothe the poor, Matthew 25. And the church will be the light in the coming darkness. Ephesians 4, 13 through 16. Until we all come to the unity of the faith, and the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of a stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things and to him who is the head, Christ, with, from whom the, the whole body, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, 
according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Amen. Hope you enjoyed this message. This is a little glimpse, I think, of what to expect in the in the new church rising, the the remnant church, the apostolic church. Um, so, God bless you guys, and Jules out.